Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well. So today's video is about humility. Yes, humility. Now, Jesus set an example of humility in many ways. One, just agreeing to come to earth and take the form of a human in order to help humans. So they understand love, the truth, different aspects that had been hidden from them. That's one way. And many of you know about him and his disciples and washing their feet. That was also an act of humility. Why is this important? Because there was a constant like conflict between ones wanting to be the most important and the greatest. This is how many humans are. They actually want to see themselves as elevated or more important than another human being. And this is not right because everyone, and I do mean everyone, should view each other equally. No one being better than another, period. So that was the lesson of Jesus washing his disciples' feet because they knew who he was. They referred to him as Lord, but he willingly washed their feet and had no problem with it at all. So, yeah, the reason why Jesus had humility is because of where he came from. If you think that just because Jesus was, you know, God's, and I mean God's is in plural, because remember, he has a mother and a father. If you think that his parents, his spiritual parents, are not humble, that's a misunderstanding too. And I know, because in the Bible, the God, like I said, that is portrayed as the father, is anything but humble. He's proud, he's jealous, he's arrogant. It just the opposite of humility. But once again, as I told you, Jesus did not represent this Lord God that is found in the Hebrew scriptures. And that is why he was humble. Now, if you notice here in... John chapter 13 and verse 16, Jesus says, truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now, Jesus acted as a messenger. So what he was saying is, you know, coming from the one who sent him. He's not greater than this one. That's humility. But also, like I said before, because of the sources from which he came, he also was humble because the idea of these divine energies and gods, if you want to call them that, being proud, arrogant, conceited, all of that is false. They're humble. There's a difference, though, between not having confidence and being proud. <laughs> Mother and father are very confident. They have self-love, self-esteem, but that does not equal arrogance, okay? So that's what I wanted to bring out today. Um, I will be taking a YouTube break for a while because I do have some actual things to <laughs> accomplish um, that I'm going to need all my energy for, especially this time of year with um, spring, the full moon, Easter or Ostara coming up. Okay, so don't worry about me. I'm fine, but I do have to focus on some very important matters that I have to take care of. As above, so below. That's basically what I'll be doing, okay? All right, I love you all. Stay well. And for all those who sent me messages or emails, I will be answering them before, like I said, I take a little break from um, social media. 
Okay. Take care. I wish everyone a happy Easter, Ostara, or if you don't celebrate it, just have a good next couple weeks, okay? Take care. Bye.